so these four pairs are gonna put us up about another uh, 170, 170 in profit. So what are we up right now? Like almost like 300. We sold 650,000 in used books on Amazon in 2015. You see that? That's hustle. I grew up super poor, food stamps, welfare, government health care. I never knew anyone that owned a business, had a nice car. No one in my family graduated high school, owned a house, nothing. I was homeless. I lived in hotels. Um, I dropped out of high school in 10th grade, had a kid, got married when I was 16, still married uh, 18 years later. 13 years ago, I found out about selling books on Amazon. And so I've been selling books and other things on Amazon full-time for the last 13 years and I sold over 5 million gross in that time period. Reezy Resells. Follow the hustle. Are these really 60 bucks? Ooh. Dude, I think we might have hit a little bit of a jackpot here. Where's he going with my shoe? Fool just took my shoe. God damn, come on, signal. Ooh, these are gonna be a killer right here. So these are 60. Yeah, not really a killer, but so let's see, that's that's $18 profit. That's a good amount. Wow, these are tight. Uh, these Pure Boosts are going for like 120 to 160, depending on the size, and we're gonna pay 60 bucks for them. So some of these pairs are gonna make us 20, and some of them are gonna make us 40 to 60. All right, so we're gonna buy the 10 and a half. We gotta make sure that they're not Where's the other one? That's it. Ten and a half. Yep. Nine and a half. Now what about these other ones? God, why is this? Attention, Marshall's employees. Gravity is a thing. Like, come on, they should be like a like a five pair limit. Like you can't put 10 pairs of shoes on top of each other. It's just not worth it. Yeah, I saw that I wouldn't do it. I totally wouldn't do it. I think Amazon's gonna go back on that. It's gonna create, so here's my theory. Amazon's either gonna go back on that because it's gonna create, because they, they, they thought it was a good idea and it's not because of customer reactions or they're mad at Nike or they're trying to use it as a way to force Nike's hand to give them more access to Nike products by threatening to ruin Nike's customer experience. Because if you think about it, a good percentage of Nike's shoes that get to their customers' hands are probably purchased through Amazon, like a, of the total overall amount of Nikes that get to customers' hands. And Amazon has control of that so they could like, you know what I mean? And you know how people are gonna be, they're gonna just like start selling like the dirtiest shoe, they didn't even look at it, it still says 19.99 on it, you know, like, I don't know, I wouldn't, I wouldn't do it, I don't recommend it. So these four pairs are gonna put us up about another uh, 170, 170 in profit, so what are we up right now? Like, almost like 300? I wish these carts were so, like, if I could wish for one thing for Christmas, bigger carts at Marshalls. This is gonna be a good shoe, is because, for one, it sells good, but the retail price on this shoe is 150 bucks, and Marshalls is selling it for 50 bucks, so if it's online is selling anywhere near the retail price, it's probably gonna be a good opportunity, and that's something you can use in all retail arbitrage. Like generally you should look at the stuff that has a really high MSRP when you're at Marshalls, Ross, TJ Maxx, or TK Maxx for my Euro friends. Eleven pairs, holy shit. In another like five minutes later I just got eleven pairs and I make forty dollars profit on each pair. 
with a crazy low rank and they're black so you know they're gonna move you gotta lift you gotta lift with your legs not your back lift with your legs not your back excuse me What'd they do with my shoes? Oh, excuse me? Oh, okay, never mind. They're there. Look, look, my shoes are down there? Yeah. Awesome. Thank you. I thought they put them back. That's the worst thing ever when they put your harvest back in the field. So, in my hand, five $10 Starbucks gift cards. I'm gonna go back into the store I was just in, the Nike store where I spent a few thousand dollars, and I'm gonna distribute these to the manager and specifically to certain employees that help me out a lot. It's very important to show people that help you, that you care about them and you appreciate them, and this goes a long way to building a relationship with people in stores, you know? So, you want people to call you when the good stuff comes in, you want people to let you skip the line and have, you know, if you wanna succeed, Make it easier for yourself. Thank you very much. Thank you, bro. Have a good one. Give, give those to the people that deserve them. Thank you. Have a good day. Stay away from those boxes. Yeah? Duh. <laughs> You gotta get this, bro. <laughs> So the car is basically full. Uh, we went to Marshall's and we went to the Nike store. At Marshall's we spent about 900 bucks with the expected profit of about 700. At the Nike store we spent 1700 bucks, a little more. We got 40 pairs with an expected profit of about $1,000, 800 to 1,000. So not too bad, 15, $1,500 profit. I think about three hours of driving around sourcing. I probably spent more time I definitely spent more time waiting in the checkout line than I did pulling these off the shelf. So, of course, the work is not done for all you haters, the potential profit haters. I gotta go home, this got to be listed, this got to be boxed up, it's not the whole story. But, anybody can do this, you can sell these shoes, you might not be able to sell them on Amazon, but you can sell them on eBay, you can sell them on Poshmark, Facebook Marketplace, offer up, let it go. You don't have any excuses, I mean, you probably do have a bunch of excuses, but you shouldn't. So. That's it. It's way easier than it should be. It's American dream. Go get it, guys. Go get it. And if you don't know how to do this, go to reeseresales.com and pick up my free Amazon course. If that doesn't get you in the game, nothing will.